Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday morning prayer and devotion. God bless you for being a part of our prayer ministry. Once again today, I'm thankful for each of you, and I'm thankful for your part in this prayer time. As you're signing on here this morning, let's go ahead and get into our prayer request. We need to pray for continued uh, traveling mercies for Carrie today as she's continuing her trip uh, toward Las Vegas. And um, we have some unspoken requests this morning. We need a special prayer covering for Carmen's daughter, Grace, this morning. And I won't go into the details of that, but a uh, desperate situation there for Carmen and for Grace this morning. They really need the Lord's intervention in the situation. Uh, we also need to keep praying for Carmen's friend Randy and his wife and young son. We have many spiritual needs and family needs to pray about today. We need to remember Gula's family, baby G's adoption proceedings, Marcia and Britt's family, Mark and Caitlin, Matt and Michaela, Dana Vasquez, um, a lady that Johnny Nelson has invited to church, praying for barriers to be broken down in that situation. The Rush family has an unspoken need. Art Chandler, Pam Davies needs strength to take care of her husband, William, and uh, he needs deliverance from alcohol addiction and related health issues. We're praying for Dawson, who needs deliverance from drug addiction and mental issues. Ashley Johnson needs deliverance from drug addiction. Alicia J.R. Johnson, Regina Marlin's family, Annette and Dave, Judy and Mike's family, Alan, Johnny's family, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Carrie Jones and her family, the Sappington family, Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families needing salvation, Pam Pulliam's family, we need to pray for Grace's best friend's family for wholeness and peace in relationships. Charles Gossett, Maury and his children, Rose Brown's granddaughter and her husband and kids, our Mingo Job Corps students, our Mingo RCF residents. We need to pray protection around Debbie Biddick's daughter Jessica and her family, and also pray for mental, emotional, and spiritual healing for Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa. Uh, in our global and North American mission needs today, we need to pray for an end to the war in Ukraine and for God's protection for our missionaries in that region. Uh, also, we need to pray for our North American missionaries and specifically for the uh, United Pentecostal Church International's General Conference going on in Orlando, Florida, um, beginning this evening. And the first two nights are usually the global and North American mission services and let's pray that God's will would be done in those services and specifically in the raising of funds to get many of our missionaries back to their fields of labor. In our health needs this morning, Pat Wills, Chloe Isaac, Jimmy Holden, Jim Johnson, uh, Nicole, John Belter, Charles Gossett, Meredith, Nancy Scott's dad, Regina Bishop, Phyllis Robinette, Judy Williams' brother, Wilda Morrison, Devin Huff, Shirley Garner, Shirley Perkins, Gary Nelson, and Mike and Tony Hodge all need a healing touch. We're praying for uh, Tina's mother, Sheila Sappington, Kelly and Shannon, and Evangelist Billy Huey, who are recovering from stroke, and also for continued strength for recovery for Virginia Pride and Sally Waller's daughter, both who have had recent surgeries, and Virginia now going through uh, chemotherapy. We have several children who need healing in their body today. Tyler Lopez, who has spina bifida. Abel Ray has PKU syndrome. Abram Page was born with GNA01 disorder. Brantley and Elsie have heart issues. Gus Sappington's grandson and Abby Young uh, suffer from developmental delay. Baby G has several health issues. Sophia is undergoing treatment for scoliosis. Arlo has had some complications recently uh, with uh, throwing up quite a bit. Uh, all those scans have showed no damage. He does need uh, continued strength for healing and recovery. Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker battling childhood cancer. Sawyer has eye cancer. We have several adults who are battling cancer, including Belinda Bauer, Michael Bolin, Christy Smith, a lady here in Puxico with stage four metastatic breast cancer. 
Alice Elizabeth, Philip Randall, Claire, Linda Fox, Diane Escher, Ari Bowers, Kristen's friend Betty, Scott Lucia, Kay, Marsha's co-worker's brother, Marsha's friend's grandparents, Carmen's neighbor Eddie, Tony Nelson, Monica Harmon, Michelle Strain's sister Cindy, Alicia Piero, Dwayne Lewis, Evie Percival, Sylvia Larimore, Dennis Phelps, and Sherry, who also has a diagnosis of lupus. Uh, Sister Mara Sullivan also uh, suffers with lupus and also autoimmune cerebritis. We're praying again for her healing today. Chris Ramey needs healing of her knees so that she can walk again. Renee, also with mobility issues due to problems with her hips and knees. Rose Brown and Judy Crawford need healing of arthritis. Several with back pain, Terry Delson, Bob O, Britt Moore, Cindy Page, Pam's daughter Jenny, Brianna Williams, Michael Parrott, Melana Cummins, Lori Gravel, Tammy Lawson, Becky Wilson, and Carolyn Rogers. Uh, we need to keep praying for Mr. Lauren and Miss Judy. This elderly couple needs healing and strength today. We're praying for those who suffer with MS, including Riley March, Carmen's sister Tracy, Marty DeLock, and Sarah Stroop. We're praying for those with migraine headaches, Beth Wheatley, Johnny Nelson, Marsha Moore, Malena, and Marsha's co-worker son, also with migraines. Uh, Sue Helton Morse's brother and Cheryl LaChance's family member have ongoing issues due to head injuries in the past. We're praying for those with heart issues, Jimmy Warren, Michelle Strain's mother, Sister Patty Arnold, Cheryl LaChance, Joyce Fisk, Carmen's friend Sean, Mike Sappington, who's on the waiting list for a heart transplant, Pastor Gil Beecher, who had a recent heart attack, Pastor Mark Morris, Kenny Prenzel, and Janie Parrish's nephew, Blaine. Those who have stomach issues include Olivia, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Michael Parrott, Heather Spence, and Regina Marlin's granddaughter, Aubrey. We have several with diabetes, including Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach with juvenile diabetes and adults with diabetes, including Becca and her mother, Christina, J.R. Johnson, Jimmy Warren, Natalie, Cheryl LaChance, Brother Pulliam, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, my aunt Emily Stanley, Evie, Rose Brown, and myself. We're praying for those with Parkinson's disease, Russ, Tim Workman, Marsha's mother-in-law Vivian, Joey Etheridge, my father Ron Bryant, and my mother-in-law Beulah Ziegler, who also needs healing of progressive supranuclear palsy. Kendra Ortiz and Robbie Northrup are battling with chronic lung and respiratory issues. Frank Day is still testing positive for COVID and needs to be able to go back to work. We have nursing home residents locally who are battling with COVID. We're praying for Ginger Williams for her situation that's ongoing with diverticulitis and hernia. Aubrey Matthews is having pregnancy complications. Shay needs healing of an infection. Johnny Nelson has been dealing with an inner ear infection over the past week or so. And we need to remember Terry Nelson's nephew who is still in the hospital. And they discovered a spot on the back of his brain yesterday and the stroke has affected the right side of his body. We're needing to pray for peace and comfort this morning for uh, the families of uh, Kristen's uncle Monty and Marcia's cousin's son Rusty who both passed away over the weekend, and also Erica Ruff asked that we pray for her guardian who lost a cousin to heart problems, his name, uh, Bill Joe Barnett. So let's remember the family of Bill Barnett in our prayers today as well. I want to take a moment and welcome those of you who are participating in prayer with us live this morning. God bless each and every one of you, Marcia and Kristen. Good to see you today, Judy with us today. Carmen, good to see you with us this morning. Uh, God bless you, Pam, for praying with us. She's asking for prayer for her friend, Joni Jones, who's battling breast cancer and other health issues. Good morning to you, Jamie. Good to see you this morning. God bless each of our prayer team, and I know there are others who are signing on here as we go along. And it's so um, uh, such a blessing to me to have each of you pray with us today once again on this Tuesday morning. I want to read to you today from First Chronicles 
or rather 2 Chronicles chapter 5. That's 2 Chronicles chapter 5. We're going to read verse 13 and also uh, the first verse of chapter 6. So chapter 5 verse 13 and chapter 6 verse 1. Excuse me. All right, verse 13 of 2 Chronicles chapter 5. It came to even to pass as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever, that then the house was filled with a cloud, even, in the, even the house of the Lord so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house. And then the next verse, beginning in the next chapter, verse 1, Then said Solomon, The Lord has said that he would dwell in thick darkness. Common advice that doctors give uh, to patients who suffer from anxiety attacks is for them to focus on something small around them that they can control, perhaps the dial on the radio that they can picture themselves adjusting the dial or a pen on the table. They just picture themselves moving the pen or doing something small that they know that they can control, taking the focus off of what they cannot control and focusing on the things that they can control. There's something about focus that can bring a reassurance to us. And we see here in the uh, account of the dedication of the temple as the singers and, and those playing the instruments and those praising the Lord began to become one and begin to focus just on those words. Um, the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. That the presence of God came into the temple as a thick cloud and the priest could not even stand to minister. And uh, Solomon made this interesting comment that the Lord has said that he would dwell in thick darkness. And so this morning, I just am reminded that life has many stress-inducing moments, regardless of who we are. And at those times, it helps us to remember and even repeat the words of the worshipers in Second Chronicles 5 and 13. For he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. And there's so many things in this life that we cannot control. But we know that God is in control. And if we can focus on him and all those small things that we can just begin to think upon his goodness and upon his mercy in our lives. The same God who filled Solomon's temple with his presence can fill this temple of the Holy Spirit today afresh and anew. Can fill our life with sweet reassurance that all is going to turn out well, even when it feels like that the opposite is true. And so this morning, if you are overwhelmed, I encourage you to just remember that you are never alone and to thank God for being with you, even when you are in a place of hurt. God is in control of our lives today, and we must trust in the promise of the psalmist who said, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. So let's focus upon the God who's in control and upon the small things that we can control, such as this prayer gathering today. We can uh, join together. We can focus together. We can come together as one voice, and God will meet us here and reassure us in this holy place of prayer today. Lord Jesus, we thank you that when our heart is overwhelmed, that we can turn to you and that we can focus upon you and we can focus upon this prayer time today that we have with you. We have this solace in your presence. We have this focal point today for our day. That as we join together, we know that your presence is here. Even in thick darkness today, God, you dwell and you are here with us right now. We just want to praise you and magnify your holy name today. Lord, you are worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy of all glory. We lift you up. We adore you this morning, oh God. You are good and your mercy endures forever. No matter what else is going on today, we know that you are a good God and we know that you are a merciful Savior today and we love you for that. We praise your name. 
We honor you today, God. We pray your will would be done this day in our lives. Your will in earth today, even as it is in heaven. Let your kingdom come in our lives this morning. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for traveling mercies today for Carrie. We pray, God, that you would protect her on the road. We pray today, God, for Carmen's deep need today, for her daughter, Gracie. We pray that you would intervene in this situation. Touch Gracie's mind this morning, Lord. In Jesus' name, touch uh, Carmen today and give her peace and strength right now. We pray for Randy and his wife and his son. God, that you would move in their situation. We pray, Lord, for these in our family, among our friends, Lord, who are suffering mentally today, those who need spiritual healing, those who are prodigals, those, Lord, who are far from you today. But we know that you are not far from any of us and that at any moment when we turn our hearts toward you, that you are there and you are with us. In the name of Jesus, reach down. God, bring salvation to our loved ones. Bring mental and emotional and spiritual healing today. In Jesus' name, as we humble ourselves and pray, we ask God that as we seek your face, that you would heal our land today, God. Hallelujah. Forgive us of our failures, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, of, of the places and the, and the areas of our life that we have fallen short today. And redirect us, refocus us today upon your greatness and upon the mission that you placed before us. We pray for our missionaries today, for the mission services going on in Orlando, Florida this week, God, that you would uh, that you would bless uh, uh, with funding for our global missionaries that those that are on deputation would be able to get back to their fields of labor. We pray for our North American missionaries, for them, Lord, that there would be much opportunity in Jesus' name for the harvest to be brought in. We give you glory and praise for it. Moving the health needs today of your people, God, and these who have been submitted on this list today. Gary and Tony and Mike, we pray for Shirley and Devin, for Shirley Garner and Wilda Morrison, for Phyllis and for Judy's brother, for Regina, for Meredith. We lift up Nancy's dad and John Belter, Charles Gossett and Jimmy Holden and Nicole. We pray for Chloe again today. Lord, believing for a miracle for her, for Pat Wells, for Jim Johnson. We believe for strength for recovery, for Virginia, for Amy, for Brother Huey, for Kelly and Shannon, for Sheila, for Tina's mother today, for each of these children, God, who are suffering in body. We believe for your healing touch for them once again today. You've heard their names as we called them out in prayer this morning, and we believe, God, for their deliverance. We believe, God, for deliverance from every affliction this morning, and we give you praise and thanks for it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we claim victory over every cancer. We curse those cancer cells in your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We take authority today in your stead. Hallelujah. As your arms, as your hands, as your feet today. Hallelujah. We come, Lord, today proclaiming your comfort and your strength and your help. In Jesus' name. Let your will be done in each of these situations. We believe for healing for Mara today, for Chris Ramey, for Renee, for Rose Brown and June Coffer, these dealing with arthritis and mobility problems. We believe for healing and strength for Mr. Lord and Miss Judy today, healing of back pain for these uh, who are suffering even as we're praying. We believe for the pain to leave their bodies. We pray for healing of MS for Tracy and Sarah for Marty and Riley today, healing of migraines for Marcia's co-worker and for Marcia herself, for Melena, for Beth, and for Johnny. We believe for healing of head injuries for Cheryl's family member and for Sue's brother again today. God, we believe for healing of heart issues and stomach problems for each of those who are affected today. You see those who have had recent heart attacks, those needing a um, heart transplant and valve replacements today. We believe, God, for their healing and for the surgeons to be able to uh, perform those procedures of, and do them perfectly today. In Jesus' name, Lord, those whose heart problems have not had a solution determined, we know that you are the answer to those needs today. In Jesus' name, we come against diabetes we believe for healing for Christina and for her mother, for Becca, 
today for JR, for Natalie, for Jimmy Warren, for Cheryl a Chance, for Cindy and Lloyd, and for Brother Pulliam, for myself and for Tim Workman, for my Aunt Emily Stanley, for Evie and for Rose Brown, for Christian and for Titus today. Healing of Parkinson's disease comes in your name. In Jesus' name, we believe for Russ and Tim, for Vivian, for Joey, for my mother-in-law, Beulah, and for my dad today. God, intervene for them, we pray. In Jesus' name, we come against COVID. Hallelujah. We take dominion and authority over that disease today. We believe for healing for Frank. We believe for healing for these nursing home residents and so many others who are affected today. Those with chronic conditions, Kendra and Robbie today, need your healing of their lungs. We pray for Ginger Williams, for Shay, for Johnny today, for their healing. We believe for Aubrey Matthews for uh, resolution of her pregnancy complications. We pray for Terry's nephew who suffered stroke and has been affected on the right side of his body. God, we believe right now for you to reach down and just minister a miracle to him we believe for peace and comfort for those who have lost someone dear to them. You see Erica's guardian who's mourning the loss of a cousin today. You see that family that's in need, that's in distress right now. We pray for Kristen's family today as they mourn the loss of her uncle Monty. We pray for the Stratton family as they are mourning the loss of Rusty. God, comfort the hearts of these families. Be with them, Lord, in their time of need. In Jesus' name, you see Pam's a friend today who's suffering with breast cancer. We're believing for healing for her today in Jesus' name. We know, God, that you are able to do anything, and we trust in you, God. Hallelujah. We give you the praise and the glory for what you're doing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your healing touch. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you for moving in these situations. We thank you for your sweet assurance. We thank you for your hand that's guiding our lives yet again today. And we give this day to you. We commit it to you, Lord, that your perfect will be done in it. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you this morning. Amen. Go in the power of the Holy Ghost today, knowing that God is with you. Let's trust in the Lord today. And believe for these needs, needs that are even still being submitted. And uh, let's uh, look at these needs as we sign off today. If you get a chance to go back and look at new requests that are being posted or have a chance to post a request yourself or a praise report, we definitely want to hear those as well. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow morning in Jesus' name.